Welcome back to another installment of our WordPress client portal series. In the last episode, we talked about kind of the groundwork of WooCommerce. We installed a couple of the plugins that we were going to need there, WooCommerce subscriptions, the payment gateway. Didn't fully set those up just yet because we wanted to kind of get some of those endpoints. We're working on a lot of that. We will end up returning to that once we come back to and fully you know, set up the, the e-commerce thing. But in my opinion, you need to have that kind of in place so that the whole entire portal starts to take uh, like take form a little bit. And then um, now what I wanna do in this video is I'm gonna come back to the dashboard and I'm just gonna start building. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna try to build uh, just something very similar to this. Again, your design can differ and all that, but um, this is my old client portal and we're just gonna you know kind of do something similar here. And this again was built in Elementor, we're now in Bricks. And uh, yeah, so let's just dive in. I'm gonna try to make some of these little they're not really bento things, they're just like random little sections that have outlines and uh, we'll be bopping back and forth here and we'll just make some stuff. Also, if we take a look for this at this for a second, this is just the, this is dynamically the username, this is dynamically the user email, this is a relationship between the, like the user and everything we did before, like the users, the websites, current user, all that, so we'll play around with that. This is just a simple link out to a partnership page which is um, done with Affiliate WP, which if you haven't played around with that, if you haven't thought about it in, involving an affiliate program in your your business, I think it's uh, almost a no-brainer in a lot of ways because if people are gonna bring you business, you're gonna make money from that and you wanna incentivize them by giving them a commission or money or something, that's, that's an art, or even like a discount, like that's an idea. So um, we can kind of start talking a little bit about that. And then down here, these are just, um, you know, different articles and support things that they can, that, you know, if they have questions or need help with the portal, they could do that. Depending on how big your portal is, you may or may not need something like that, but it's kind of a nice touch to be like, okay, like I can just self-serve myself on certain things. Kind of cool. So let's just dive into it here and uh, just start playing around. So if we go to our um, dashboard here and we'll just edit with bricks and that's kind of our, like I said, our template there. All right, so because this is a client portal, uh, like a dashboard here, there's a couple different things that I'm, I'm looking at as far as setup. Normally when I have a page, uh, I, I like to have kind of like a single page layout is kind of like what I think, like a single page template. And as you can see here, like if you go to dashboard and then you go to websites, there's not, there, there, this is not consistent. You know what I mean? Like this up here and then you go to help like I would want that to kind of be consistent kind of throughout maybe, but in this case, I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna worry about the single page template yet and I'm probably not even gonna put any any title necessarily on the dashboard just yet. Uh, you could, but it just depends on obviously what your your site looks like and from a, you know, a uh, like an SEO perspective and stuff, there's not really, you know, we don't, we don't really have any of that. Um, on an internal website like this. We're not trying to rank necessarily for this. So um, not really the end of the world there. So let's just, uh, let's actually just get rid of all this. Let's press uh, section here. And then, so we're gonna want a, we got a container in here and we're gonna wanna kind of like kind of break that up. So we'll do two blocks. And of course it doesn't put it in the damn thing. Get in there. So two blocks, there we go. And then we're gonna to wanna to go back to container. Well, actually we're gonna want two blocks and I wanna to try to like kind of get the structure out all obviously all the time before I before I do it. So this would be probably just basic text. This would be, uh, could be just basic text as well or maybe a header. This would be basic text. This is probably just gonna be um, pretty plain. This, I did, I did this weird. This is like a little icon that, that just goes to edit account. Um, so that's a nifty little option there. Let's do um, the other and the other one is icon and then heading text button. Let's do right here icon and heading and then basic text and then button. So that should be okay for our second block. Our first block is gonna be. I'm thinking just basic text for now. I always like back and forth between basic and rich because it's like I if I need rich, then you can't like convert basic to rich, which I feel like would be nice. Um, I don't know if this would really be a heading, but could be, I guess. 
maybe, not really. Eh. No. And then we'll need a couple more basics though, and and I'm not exactly sure how we're gonna handle this just yet. Uh, it's probably gonna be a div if I want to do it like that. Be like a div with an icon and. I mean, I could do an icon. I think I can do an icon with a icon box, but I don't normally I don't normally do that. And then um, I think this is going to have to be text link, icon text link, and then hmm, honestly, I'm going to use a heading for the one piece. I know this is really confusing looking right now, but. It'll make sense. Basic text heading. So we have a hello, then we have our name, then we have. Actually, we're gonna need something different here. To do it like this, I'll probably need a a div here as well with basic text and a do, do, div there. So div right here. Basic text. That's really hard to get in there. Okay. Um, and then icon. There we go. Basic text icon, and let's come down here, and one more, I think, one more, structure, structure, actually, maybe not even, no, I think that's right, okay, looks crazy right now, looks crazy right now, but I think we're good, all right, um, terrific, so that's, that's one, I would call that one section, right? So if we're looking at it, if we go back here, like kind of a box here, like this is, you know, we have a our our one thing here and our other, you know, like it's all it's all a big container. We're gonna, you know, grid this, and then that's let's call that one section. I mean, honestly, we could probably call this whole thing one section, perhaps, and just do like a like a half here and then a, a full down here. I don't know if that's necessarily actually a bento or not or anything. I'm not sure if I should do this all in one section or not. To me, it's kind of, honestly, it's kind of three sections, but uh, but it's not, you know, because this is on the same, it's not really that that, that big of a deal. Um, I honestly think just for simplicity, we're just going to do this as two sections. So that's, uh, I don't really think semantically it's that huge of a deal. Uh, and I have no idea what to call this. So we'll just call... First, uh, we'll call top. Um, so bad at naming classes. Uh, main dashboard, or let's say like, I don't know, info. I don't know. And then container would be the grid, grid. And then block would be, first block would be the, um, the uh, basic info. There'd be a better thing for this. I don't know what to say there, though. First one is um, hello or something. This is just super annoying that this is like this. Hello. Let's call it hello. Let's put some text in here. Let's actually do it like this. This would be user uh, first name, last name, which display name we could do, I think. Display name would work. And then this is contact info or contact info. I don't know if we really need to say contact info, but yeah, whatever. Contact info is fine. And then pencil. That's cool. That works. And then we'll be moving that and changing that up, but pencil is good for now. And then down here is, um, do, 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 what is it? Uh, this would be the actual email. So um, user profile email. See, like this, should this be like a span, I feel like? I don't know. 
Oh, also, display name. That's not going to work. Let's do first name, last name. I'm actually not even sure. Uh, my first name and last name in this might be wrong, actually. But uh, let me see. First, first name. First name and last name or display name? Ugh, tough, tough call. I'm going to go first name, last name. Just for now. Okay. First name, last name. Da, da, da. Okay, it's starting to take shape a little bit. Um, text link, this would be... Uh, this would be our actual thing. Actually, come. let me come down here and throw this other info in here. Did you know? Did you know? And then down here, where is this text? Give me this. Boom. Button. Apply now. Fantastic. Save that. Change this to a little light bulb. Um, actually, I can't remember which ones I like, but I think it's... Damn, I think it's Themeify that I've been using. I don't know. Kind of want to use all the same icons, but I'm actually not sure if I used icons anywhere else. So, oh well for now. Um, this would be a little globe. Um, I'm not sure. Hmm. Globe. How about a globe? globe uh, that's good enough for now and then this is gonna be this is this div is actually gonna be a a query and we don't have any information just yet and this is gonna be the post title uh, is how is how I envision this to work so this will be a link to an internal post or page, but I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to use it here. It would be like my account, but it's, I think we're going to need to do a different, I think we're going to need to do a different URL. Um, actually, maybe we could just say, what if we just went like this and went slash my account slash edit account. That's where I have it on the last one. Just like that, save. Let's. Uh, we don't even have a preview. Um, I never normally click that button, but oh shit! I'll be damned. There we go. Okay, starting to take form a little bit there. Great. Um, all right. So doo -doo -doo -doo, we got the weird spacing and all that. Obviously, it's all messed up here. But um, let's start. The reason I wanted it. The reason I try to get this in structure is because then I want to go back and like name these things and then I can actually like you know put proper classes on them um, which honestly in some cases I don't think it's really necessary because I'm never gonna do this again and I wrote GERD instead of grid grid basic info um, text is like hello I guess I don't know we'll, we'll call it greeting greeting and then we'll say uh, name and then uh, get in there and then we'll say um, edit info and then we'll say uh, contact oops we'll say contact info with contact edit icon I don't again I'm, I'm not I feel like I could probably obviously you could just style the stuff ID wise I'm not sure if that's the best thing or not to do I try to force myself to use these classes like all the time and I'm not sure if it's exact if you have to like I'm not sure if you absolutely have to every single time um, div for um, this would be like website card almost um, get out of there with website card globe 
our website icon. Uh, for this, I'm just gonna say icon, I think. For, nah, that website icon's fine, whatever. Whatever, and then um, website, I'll do name. Actually, it's not name. Well, it might be name over here, but I don't want it to be name. No, I want to. I want to change that. Actually, I want to. I want to say domain name. I want to say domain name, and then um, down here, I want to say affiliate icon. That's fine. Whatever heading is like. Um, I think headings all right. Basic text would be uh, something like. That and then button call it a CTA. All right, hopefully that's okay. Okay, so um, what I want to do here is I want to change this from post title to domain name because I want that to say domain name instead of instead of just the name of the website like it does on the other on the other one currently. Okay, great. All right, so now we have all that. Let's try to do this. Bim it out here. Apply. Cool. Terrific. Now I feel much better in uh, going through here and changing these up. All right. So this is our section. Then we have our grid. So if we click on grid and we go, um, we could do obviously horizontal like this. That helps us already. Actually, well, we want to do grid first, obviously. Um, and we want template columns. Let's do a two, just an even two is fine. But I think I actually might want to auto to this because if I, um, how many rows? Let's just do one, set it to one. I want to auto to because if it gets smaller, um, I don't want to, I don't want it to be the same. Let me just, let me just show you that and double check that for myself here. If we go to here, Still, again, not 100%. See what I'm saying? Like, you don't want that. So the way ACSS works is if you do auto, auto to rather than grid to, then when it resizes, it'll automatically resize appropriately. Um, there's obviously other ways to do that, but that's just a nice little ACSS way. Cool. All right. Um, so we have our grid there now a little bit, a little closer. And then we have, hello, Mark Smansky. Um, let's go just real quick into our edit here. And we'll do this. We'll do the same type of thing. If we go to um, in this one, honestly, I feel like we could do flex, though. Um, and this icon needs to be way smaller. Can we do that right here? Um, uh, actually, is there an icon? I don't know. There's a, I know there's an icon size uh, somewhere in here, maybe. Or, but I don't know if that's like necessary because like this is like a very specific icon. Why is my little icon not changing? What's going on here? Let's refresh this real quick. Refresh this while we're at it. It's coming together. It's coming together already. I mean, these little things here, this you know, this little outline. I don't, I don't know if that's super necessary, but obviously in this design, it probably would make it look better. So uh, let's see. If I was being really, really smart about it, I would probably. I feel like I would. I would probably um, use a class for that. Um, okay, is this gonna work now? Thank you. See, there's definitely a problem with bricks there. Just notice that. Like I thought I was going crazy, but apparently I wasn't. Um, also, though, is this gonna? Yeah, of course. I like I always do this where I forget to put. I forget to turn the class on. It's really annoying. All right. Um, so edit contact info. Got a little thing there. We probably put some some spacing in between this. Uh, da, 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 da. Let's do. Um, let's just do like row gap of. Or no 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 column gap. Yep. Get out of here. Column gap of. 
extra small. Extra small is fine. Not being like super precise. That's a little much actually. Let's do. Um, let's go back uh, and do space. Let's do a calc. Let's go crazy and do a calc divided by two. Is that working? Um, uh, if I would spell calc right. Yeah, that's cool. Like that, again, ACSS feature, link in the description. <laughs> um, and I put it, and I didn't put it in the class. I didn't put it in the class, that's awesome. Damn it. Make the class, I make the classes and then I don't, and then I don't do them. I don't, I don't do what I need to do with them, there we go. All right, again, you are seeing me kind of like, not learn ACSS because I know it, but I just am not a crazy, obnoxiously proficient at it because again, I am an Elementor refugee. So, um, so here's the thing: I I really like the contextual, like the there's this concept of contextual like gap and everything like that. But the more and more I think about it, and the more and more times I use all this, it it just starts to get in the way a little bit, and I don't I don't know. I don't I don't know what to do about it. Meaning like this this is this all this gap in here is automatic and you can turn it off and I think it's off by default. But I kind of liked it cuz I didn't have to add the gap every single time, but now when I have situations like this, it's kind of really annoying. So I, I might have to go turn it off and then start adding it back in manually because just with a lot of these things it it seems like it's the better way to go. Um for this, I'm going to go um, we'll just center it all right now. And nope, I didn't need to do that. And I guess we'll also center this text just for the fun of it. Uh, I'm not sure. Some people are probably going to hate that, but it is kind of how I have it over here. So is what it is. Um, refresh. Cool. Again, I think there's probably... I don't know this honestly for a fact, but I think there's probably, if I was gonna put the same border on all of these different things, I should probably feel like make like a little utility class for the border. If that's, I feel like I feel like that makes sense. So if I go over here to like affiliate for instance, and then I make a new class called uh, border. Mm. Unless I can make variables, not 100%, borders, let's say just like, we'll say like, I don't know, I literally don't know, but like thin border or something like that. And then border, border, um, I'm not sure what the things are over there, I could look. Let's just say like two pixels, solid. We'll use a variable of, can't really see it, but okay, there we go. Oh, let's just do that. And then I want to say the radius is probably like five pixels around it. So, oops. So come back over here. And then um, let's see here. Solid. Ah, okay. Weird. And then so something like that, obviously super little let's do a little less than that let's do like there maybe and then now can i do um let's do some padding maybe medium let's try medium all around something like that maybe 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 uh actually one more, one more adjustment. I'm thinking this is a decent way to do this because these are all gonna be like different and I don't wanna have to do this every single time, right? So if we do that, okay, cool. And then we come back out here and we reload this as an example. Okay, that looks somewhat like decent. I mean, you know, again, par with my terrible design skills, right? So then if you come back over here now, the concept would be if you come back over to your basic info. So if we have basic info as a block here and we have affiliate as a block here, and we come back up here and we say thin border and we add that and now we refresh and we save here and so we didn't have to do that every single time i think don't quote me i think that might be an option on how to do that 
So, um, whatever. I don't, I don't know. I'm not the best practice guy. If you want to know exactly how to use ACS, I would highly recommend Kevin Geary. Uh, I'm just learning. So, but yeah, I think that's all right. All right. So in my opinion, though, I really think that I, I almost need to turn off this automatic gapping thing because there's no real way for me to fix this set, this type of issue because I just have it all turned on. So this may screw up some of our stuff, but I think I'm going to do this moving forward. So you're seeing this here live for the very first time because I'm not, I'm, I think I'm actually going to turn this off. So if we go to automatic CSS and we come down here to automatic contextual spacing, automatic container spacing, content spacing, grid spacing, I think let's turn off content spacing. Let's do them one at a time because I, I don't, I don't know if I need to turn them all off, but content spacing Mm, okay, content spacing was that. Is this even? Mm, I'm confused. Let's turn this off. Okay, maybe I'm completely wrong about this because there's 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 space being added in between these things automatically, and I'm and I'm almost certain that I played with some settings to make that happen, but I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't. Is it grid? Could it be grid? I didn't really think it was going to be great. That was my last guess. See, okay, something's weird. Some, see, like, the space in here? See all the space? And there's got to be something. There's got to be something that is making that happen. I love, I do love the automatic container gap, or the, whatever the, whatever the first thing was, where we don't have, where we don't have to do this every single time. I feel like that's, half decent but why is there all the spacing in here what is going on just a quick lesson for you if you're ever in this situation um so i turned off the automatic css stuff and everything like that but the place that i forgot to look was over here again i apologize but i think this is a learning thing you have to go to theme styles and i did this i did this on every website to actually like make this happen so like uh in the blocks there's not like automatic block padding or i'm sorry block gapping so i literally did it here and this is that that's where it is so to me i'm still kind of like in the middle if i actually want that or not i feel like you know like over here it does make sense but then over here it's like eh. so i don't know i think what i'm going to do for the rest of this project i feel like is try to not do that um and then just set like so so just to kind of bring you up to speed here if this was this was set to like content gap in here automatically right and let me get rid of all this section stuff down here because now we know what's going on so this was set to content gap automatically which i like that um that was in the block element which i just automatically did and everything but honestly it, it's not really i don't know it's it's it doesn't really seem like it makes a whole heck of a lot of sense because then in certain cases like this there's just too many things going on and things are getting you know maybe you want certain things grouped together and certain things not grouped together and it's just it's just weird so I think I'm going to come back in here, and honestly, I think the thing is, the, the here's the here's the the problem or the the rub here is that this edit info and like email here, if that's kind of like a section, that should actually probably be wrapped in probably a block. It does. I'm not sure if it really matters, but like block here, and then email should be within that, and then we could do something like. Um, you know, we'll have like a block with multiple blocks in it. So we'll have a greeting because they're, they're kind of different sections altogether. You'll see what this, you see what I mean here in a second. So now we have a block, which is hello and Mark Smansky. Then we have another block, which is contact info. Then we're going to have, um, another, uh, thing down here, right here, which is like website card. And actually it's pretty funny because in doing all this, I think I realized that I forgot this right here. So we'll come, we'll, we'll make sure that we have that there. Um, let's duplicate this contact info. Let's drag it down here. Let's go um, and wrap this in a block. And then now this is probably going to mess up our our styles to a certain degree. Um, we'll we'll fix all that. But the idea here now is actually <laughs> this is all very funny. We're we're learning together here. I think the actual situation here now is if I would actually go back and do this properly we may actually have something that we that that might actually work for us if we did want to use our our um our content gaps so oh, i'm in the wrong thing 
actually. No, because they're all going to be blocks. I mean, maybe I could use divs. Mm. I'm not sure if divs are the right way to go there, though. But they're all blocks, so like I'm adding this to the block element. Eh, it's tough. I don't know. I don't think there's really a right way or wrong way to do these things, but I like this better, though. I think this is the better way to go. So we're just going to continue to do this uh, kind of manually and not have the automatic padding in there. I'm going to use the same variable anyway. This is the beauty of using the variables. So if I go back up here to basic uh, basic info, and then I come down to row gap now, and I do content gap, that is fine. you know. And I'll actually just do content gap here as well. Like That is ultimately pretty much what we want with obviously tying up some loose ends here and things but um um but yeah there we go something like that and obviously we can play around and do different things here uh this is 20 pixels this icon um would probably be i don't know we'll say 20 here as well maybe 25 ish something like that and yeah, so there's that. Cool. So this is definitely this is definitely taking shape a little bit more than um, than it was before. Play around with these. I'm actually gonna see. This is one of those things where like I should probably either make this not necessarily a heading because the H3 doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense there. But I should probably like make this bold or something. And this is what I mean to be nice if I could like convert this to a rich text because what if I want to bold it now I mean I, I probably could just bold it in here but my point is it's it's not I don't think it's supposed to be kind of it's just a basic so that's uh, a little weird but I'm liking where we're headed here the question is do I go back and turn those on now mm, part of me wants to but at the same time automatic Let's turn it back on for a second just to see, just for fun, see how it changes things. Yeah, see, like, I just really love, I love this. I love not having to put in, uh, like, grid gaps specifically. Um, the content spacing, I'm not sure how that's affecting us, and the container spacing. Again, we're just doing a little CSS situation here. Okay, so that's not even, it's a little confusing because I thought that was grid, but okay, maybe it's, this is the first one's obviously a container. Um, what? Huh? Okay, very confused on that. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm gonna leave them all on because I don't even under, I don't even understand what or what or whatnot that is that is editing right now. But we're moving forward, so let's keep going. Um, this our edit contact button thing works for now. We have this in here that's all populated directly from that. Our websites thing, we need to create a website. We need to make sure that that actually works. Um, our apply button is going to go to somewhere that I don't know just yet. And honestly, this should probably be potentially a uh, action button action most likely. Obviously, we haven't done that yet. Um, so there's that. And then over here, we would do something like this as well, content gap and content gap. And that's fine. This icon to me is a little small, Let's say maybe like 40, 60, sure, cool, great. And then um, the thing here is I would want these to be basically like spaced between in a way um, let me see over here just as an example I'd kind of want them to take up the same amount of space I feel like oops come back over here and we have some weird styling stuff going on now because I added classes which I didn't want to have to do but I did uh, da -da -da -da, let's do space Space around, spacey, kind of more so like space between because I'd want it to hit kind of fill almost. Yeah, that's not bad. That's not bad. All right, let's refresh this. Cool. All right. And what's next here? I think we could do another. 
Well, honestly, we could do possibly another container. I'm not sure if this is the best idea, but what if we just did another container right in here and then slid this above this one, and now we have another container down here. Again, it's a, it's a section, but each one is kind of its own different section, so I don't really know exactly what to do there. We'd put our, we'd put our thin border on this. We'd have our thin border. We'd make uh, a couple other adjustments here. We'd have a heading. We'd have some heading, basic text. Search is going to be interesting. And then we'd have uh, kind of like little cards down here. So let's get rid of this, get rid of that. Um, let's say, let's say heading and then basic text and um, the search. I don't know if I have this turned on. Oh, I do. Do I have it turned on or is this, I don't know if this is, uh, I don't think that's the right search. So we'll come back to that. Um, and then we're gonna want a div but we're gonna want a grid. So we're gonna want, I think we're gonna want a block in there. That's gonna be our grid. And then within that, we're gonna want a div and we're gonna want inside the div, we're gonna need some basic text or maybe a text link perhaps actually. It's gonna be an icon and text link, just like kind of how we have up here. So icon, oops, icon and a text link. I think that's going to be good for us. And of course, didn't put it in the right thing. Okay. Uh, div icon, get in there. Text link. Okay. Cool. And let me go save. Let me go back out here to bricks settings. And da -da 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 -da. where's our. We're going to turn on these query filters. Save and refresh probably. So these are experimental as of recording this, maybe don't use them, but um, I've used them and I think they're all right. So um, they may change though. And if we go right here, filter search. So we have our search thing in there now. Um, on the other one, just as of note here, on this other one, uh, oops, go back. Uh, this other one, uh, I don't know where I went here, dashboard. This was a, an Ajax jet search, like a you know, Crocoblock jet engine jet search here. So that's an option if you want to go that route. But uh, with this, with bricks having the stuff built in, I'm trying to not use other stuff as much as possible. So that's kind of where we're at. Uh, cool. All right. So we have our container, and I think that's going to be all that we're going to need there. This is going to be a grid of two. Yeah, I think that's probably gonna be all the items we're gonna need. I always say this and then we end up adding more shit, but yeah. So container is, um, I guess like help is fine. Heading is whatever. Let me actually add this stuff in here. What did I say over here? Just need help, looking for help, try our knowledge base, whatever. Um, again, this is, do you, do you need to have this? I don't know. Depends on how much stuff you have. Uh, and then search, and it's a heading. We'll say lead here, oops. And then we'll say search, it's fine. Block would be the grid, and div would be the, um, what did I say for the other one? Edit info, this would be like the article or article card I guess and then down here would be the just the icon and then the um, name is fine cool great all right save that let's bim it cool great all right so help we're gonna want to go like this and then we have our of course, I always, I never click this damn thing. Okay, there we go. Uh, I make the classes and then I don't add them. I don't, I don't like access them. I don't click them. Oh, I didn't mean to click that. Refresh this. Cool. It's taking shape. This is exciting. Okay, so we're shaping up here. Let's try to finish up this uh, dashboard here and we can kind of wrap this one. 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, so as far as spacing and everything like that goes, um, there's multiple different ways to do this. Obviously, like I said, I'm not the absolute, um, you know, authority on this. I'm just, I'm just doing my best as far as the styling and everything goes. But functionality wise, we have a couple things to tackle here. So let's kind of go ahead and do that. What I did off camera was I just added our articles, which is pretty simple. We just have title and then answer. These are like our kind of like FAQ things. We had title, answer, and then like a walkthrough video that we set up in uh, one of the previous videos. Uh, if you want to go ahead and check one of those out if you haven't already. So down here, this is where we're going to query that from. So uh, if we go down here to our article card, so like our icon is probably just going to always be the same. Um, we could make it more, uh, I don't know, specific or whatever if we want to. But for now, we could just make it like one of these little article guys. <clears throat> and um, if we go and say maybe like a, know, like a 20 pixel, maybe a 30 pixel, I don't know, 25 maybe. Oops, that's too much. 25 pixel. And if we go back to the div and we give it some, let's see here. We give it some, we kind of want it to have maybe a little bit of kind of kind of like padding up here like we did before so maybe our actually if we look kind of we have the exact same exact same concept up here uh, well actually it's slightly different <clears throat> we're gonna we're gonna have websites up here and we're gonna have these articles down here so let's let's go back to this for a second so our text link is actually gonna be probably the post title and if we press save here, <clears throat> we go back to our article card, should be not necessarily centered. Um, let's see, we want article card. Let's, let's get our query in order so we can kind of see some stuff. We want it to be, oops, posts. And then we want it to be articles. And post per page. I mean, we can just say maybe we could say negative one. Does it does negative one work? Possibly. I don't know. We shall see on the front end. Let's go to our dashboard. Okay, that looks like that's all of them. That's good. Okay, we got that. If we go back to our grid up here, we want to make sure our grid is set to actually grid, and then um, we'd say like grid auto too, because same thing here is like we want <clears throat> just based off of our design over here. We have a two column, like this right here is a two column grid. And if it's smaller, then we'd probably just want it to go down to, to one column. So we get rid of that, come over here. There we go. We can add some spacing in between there and everything like that, but that's pretty good. Um, we are gonna want to change potentially the whole card. Now each one of these, we're probably gonna want these to be, I believe this is a list item situation. So let's go. Let's go to the name and let's change this to dynamic data and we'll change it to the post link because each one of these is going to have its own little, you know, its own little uh, thing here. So like we'll go to, you can kind of see each one of these is going to go to the, go to the specific articles. I don't think we have anything obviously at the article yet. We don't have that, that single setup, but that would be where that goes. We want to get rid of these little um, list item things. Okay, so functionality wise here, let's go back and clean some of these things up too. This is, should be an, probably, we'll probably make these H2s, I suppose, those guys there. Um, eh, I don't know, maybe, maybe an H2 as well. Not really, again, it's not really a heading, but eh, we'll see. Uh, and then let's go, let's go here for a second, because I want to kind of, I want to show you this, because I think this is kind of, um, kind of interesting. So we got icon and domain name, and the way that we're going to do this is this is going to be a query as well so we're going to do query and we're going to say query and to me this is actually going to end up being possibly websites to users here but i don't know if we're going to be able to utilize it uh the jet engine query because every single time i use a relations jet engine query it gets like really weird really fast so what i want to do is i want to show you an example of <clears throat> putting some of this data in so let's go to our uh, websites. Now, as you, as we know before, like we have websites, right? We have all this, this whole situation here. So we have this dummy data in here and we have like this one is, is connected to me. 
And um, we can actually, I could show you on the front end too, because we already set this up. Like these two are associated with me, right? And then these ones are all of the websites because this is an admin view. So go back and watch that other video where we set all this up and did the querying and everything. But the point is that these two are websites that my current logged in user would have access to. And then these ones, again, it's just the admin view that we talked about. If this is working correctly, in order for this part to work correctly right here, we would want to see the we would want to see these two websites, whatever's on this websites page would match right here. That's the concept. Is like at the at a glance on this dashboard, the thought is we have websites and these are the websites that that we're, you know, associated with. And then you can click them or you can just go to the websites or whatever. We, that that's that's secondary. But this is just another place where they can see all the ones that they personally are affiliated with. Now, um, in order to do that, there's a couple of different ways, obviously. The, the, the one way that I would love for it to work, but I still have no idea how to do it, is like this whole jet engine relation websites to users. I really don't understand how that's working. I have no idea. So normally I go jet query builder, like we did with the last one, and then websites associated with current user, right? And then we're using the beautiful part about this is this is not built in. I think this is an advanced themer, but it's not built in a uh, bricks yet is like a query manager where you could reuse queries. This is one of the times where you would want to reuse this query because this is the same query. The same query that you see on the websites page is the same is the same query that you would see in this section of the dashboard, right? So we have websites one, two. So again, forget forget about the styling for now. But the idea is that that same query that we set up um, earlier, which just for the for the heck of it here, I will uh, I'll go back and show you. Just because it's obviously we're reusing it here. Websites associated with current user. It's a jet engine uh, query. We got websites. We're sorting by title and then post and page related items. Websites to users. Parent object. Current user ID. In my opinion, I don't understand why the 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 bricks thing is having trouble with that, but works perfectly with the jet engine query builder. So if we refresh this again, there we go. So I'm loving it personally. And again, we can, here's the thing. <clears throat> I'll throw this in here because I don't know if we'll end up doing it like this. As you can see on this last one over here, there's like a link here. But this link I actually didn't set to go directly to that like single because there is no current website single on the last one. I'm not sure how we're going to handle that, if we're, which way we're going to do it this time. But like right now it just you click that and it just goes to the website page, which is fine because that's ultimately where they're going anyway. But depending on what you want to do, if they have multiple websites, they're probably going to want to click on the website and then go to get information specifically about it. So I don't know, which is kind of in the middle as far as how we're going to handle that. But um, but yeah, so this is this this is a query, same query as the other thing. Dynamic, dynamic, edit, edit account here. This is going to be a button to go to like the partnership thing. Down here, these are just uh, uh, this is just a query to go, uh, just a query that queries all of the um, like help articles and everything like that. They go directly to the, the help pages. The search, we didn't really talk about this at all. Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's gonna. I don't think we really configured it at all. So like depending on how we want to do this, like we might be able to kind of change this query up. But there's not really a ton here anyway. So let's see if we uh, let's see if we quickly go in here. This will probably be like the last thing we kind of do for this segment of this. Um, target, website card, article card, article card, um, input, and then minimum characters. We can just make that two or whatever, placeholder. Let's just see what this does. Again, this is an experimental feature. So um, if I type password. Okay, so how do I change my password? So that's kind of cool. Like you can just, you know, I don't know, kind of sweet. It's a little slow. I don't know if I'm, what if I do, I'm not sure what debounce means, but let me see if I, yeah, I mean, Again, this isn't the best, like absolute best UI. I mean, the thing pretty much works, but the be the best UI. I mean, there's not really that many things here. So if you had a if you had a ton of these and you wanted to search, the concept is still there. But I could literally only have seven. You can literally see all of them. So the concept, you know, is is uh, is worthwhile to play around with. But it's 
at, at this scale, it's not, you know, it's not that crazy, crazy helpful. So I don't know. Um, all right. Well, I'm ending this video here because we have a dashboard page now, obviously some things to tweak and everything like that, but, um, we're definitely moving forward in the right direction. Um, in the next video, not exactly sure what we'll handle. Um, but there's definitely, we definitely need to dive back into the, into the WooCommerce piece of it. And then we'll probably end up going into websites and talking about like how projects and everything, uh, kind of intertwine with this, uh, and just kind of generally cleaning some things up here. Cause we are moving along and, uh, I definitely want to get this, uh, to a minimum viable product stage. And I think we're, we are approaching that. So hopefully you guys are enjoying this series so far. Like I said, um, you know, make sure you like the video, subscribe to see more things, uh, more pieces of this, uh, project here. And, um, yeah, we will uh, talk to you in the next video. Thank you so much.